after a day away from these three day events, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. This convention is held by our Jamaat in all the countries, wherever the Jamaat is present. Service to God Almighty and mankind generates true peace and contentment of the heart. This is the theme of the Jalsa Salamnas. The Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat, Trinidad and Tobago, held their 35th annual Jalsa Salana on the 24th, 25th, and 26th of January, 2020. The Jalsa began with the Friday sermon, which was delivered by Amir and missionary in charge Ghana, Maulana Muhammad bin Saleh Sahib. There are different and various forms of challenges, and the main purpose of all those challenges are to strengthen your faith. To strengthen your faith, you must go through hardship. After the Friday prayers, members of the Jamaat made their way to the flag hoisting ceremony. Amen. The second session was chaired by respected Rafiq Lojir Sahib. The program began with the recitation of the Holy Quran by Mirza Ali Sahib. Qasida was presented by Nasir Yaqub Sahib. Amir and missionary in charge, Trinidad and Tobago, Maulana Ibrahim bin Yaqub Sahib, delivered the message from His Holiness, Hazrat Khalifa al Masih V, may Allah be his helper. A speech on our duties to God Almighty and mankind was delivered by Zaman Muhammad Sahib. A speech on the response to persecution was delivered by Maulana Abdul Nur Sahib. A speech on the acceptance of prayer was delivered by Maulana Qasid Waraj Sahib. A speech on the need for Khilafat was delivered by Maulana Talib Yaqub Sahib. After the speeches delivered by the missionaries, a group of children, including Nasirat and Atfal, delivered presentations on various topics. After the children's presentations, the keynote address was delivered by Maulana Muhammad bin Saleh Sahib, Amir and missionary in charge Ghana. After respected Amir Sahib's speech, academic awards were given to those students who were pursuing higher education. The Khuddam received their awards from respected Amir Sahib, while the Lajna were given their awards by respected National Sadr Lajna. The third session began with the recitation of the Holy Quran by Maulana Qasid Waraj Sahib. A message from Her Excellency Paula May Weeks was presented by Tayyib Yaqub Sahib. Respected Amir and missionary in charge, Trinidad and Tobago, Ibrahim bin Yaqub Sahib addressed the members. Brothers and sisters, there is so much of commotion in the world of today. You know it, and I know it. Wherever we turn, there are upheavals, bloodshed, anarchy, so much of disturbances. It is not only confined in our country, but every part of the world. After a short break, the concluding session of Jalsa Salana, Trinidad and Tobago took place. This program was chaired by Naib Amir, respected Hassan Hussein Sahib. The session began with the recitation of the Holy Quran by Zaman Muhammad Sahib. An Urdu poem was recited by Shirazuddin Muhammad Sahib. Asif Hussain Sahib welcomed the guests and presented a brief introduction of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. Respected Amir Sahib, Trinidad and Tobago, presented the message of Hazrat Amir al muminin May Allah be his helper. This is because this unique gathering gives us an ideal opportunity to become more righteous by improving our spiritual and moral standards. A group of children, including Nasirat and Atfal, delivered presentations on various topics. The keynote address was delivered by Amir and missionary in charge Ghana. After his address, the dignitaries and special guests were given the opportunity to say a few words. Among the guests were, representing His Excellency, the High Commissioner for the U.S. Embassy, Joseph Mandelo, representing His Excellency, the High Commissioner for U.K., Tim Stu, Mr. Hafiz Khan, respected Queen Mother Hillary Ned, respected Archbishop Stephen Julian, Mayor of Shiguanas, Her Excellency, Vandana Mohit, Mr. Boltawari, Senator the Honorable Haji Qasim Hussein, Minister of Rural Development and Local Government. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. A new feature included in this year's Jalsa Salana was the addition of various stalls, such as review of religions, 
This doll displayed various editions of the Review of Religions magazine, as well as informative videos. An information stall about Humanity First was also displayed. Members and guests also had the opportunity to purchase books at the bookstall. Khudam al Trinidad and Tobago set up a stall in which they displayed their annual activities. This also included a photo gallery. By the grace of Allah, this event was a great success. This report is brought to you by MTA News, Headquarters, Trinidad and Tobago.